<laughs> oh, hey there. We're just doing the thing you're supposed to do in the place you're supposed to do it, AKA hanging out in a pool in Palm Springs. But you all came to see some films, didn't you? Mm, at the Palm Springs Shorts Fest. So we will tell you all about our film, Heritage Day. My name is Evie. My grandmother, Hannah, was a Holocaust survivor. When the Nazis came, she volunteered to be the one to go to the camps. Oh my God, she talked to her. I, why, didn't, why, why didn't you tell me? Don't blame me, I didn't know. She was only 14 years old. She didn't know that the Nazis were going to come back and take her family to the camps and kill them. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Everly, and I'm the writer and director of Heritage Day. And my name is Elise Louis Stemp, and I'm the producer. I'm Vivian Lyra Blair, and I'm the co-producer, and I play Evie in the film. That's a little backstory is both my grandparents survived the Holocaust, and this is a short film that is inspired by an incident in my childhood. I had an assignment where I had to dress up like a grandparent and do a presentation as them, and so I called my grandmother, Eva, and that was actually the very first time I got any concrete information about her experience in Auschwitz. I didn't understand why this part of my family history needed to be kept quiet. So in the film, Evie does dress up like her estranged grandmother, a Holocaust survivor, on Heritage Day at school and becomes increasingly obsessed with what her grandmother went through. Evie's at an age where her truth drives her behavior way more than social norms. And in the 80s, social norms are pretty key. Okay, on three. One, two, three, chief. I love the earth tones. Give me some sunshine. Jeez. Sometimes parents try to protect their kids by keeping things from them. This does not make you anti-Semitic. This does not make you anti-Semitic. This does not make you anti-Semitic. The topic of the Holocaust is usually handled through drama or historical documentary, but we're tackling this topic through a generational perspective and through the lens of dark comedy. There is a lot of comedic irony to mine in the fact that Evie is recreating a world that everyone else is trying so hard to forget. This film explores what happens when a child discovers a personal connection to a really tragic part of history. Our society is still very deeply uncomfortable unpacking the shameful events of our past. I want to sleep in the attic like Anne Frank, but we don't have one, so I'm sleeping in the garage instead. Oh, I'm pretty sure Anne Frank didn't have an L.L. Bean Sub-Zero sleeping bag. <laughs> Good call, Mom. We hope to see you at the movies. <laughs> or at the pool. Because we can't, because we can't get out. Nope. We're wearing clothes, it's awkward. I didn't bring a towel either. <laughs> no, did I? <laughs>